Right, a committee will be formed soon to review the national higher education policy to ensure all plans and policies are based on current reality and include the importance of a sustainable future. Higher Education Minister Dr. Sri Mohammed Khalid Nordin said the committee would be given three months to submit findings and suggestions for improvement. Khalid said that some policy adjustments should be implemented as it demands a change in the way of working, thinking and action taken. He added that the higher education sector is no longer limited to providing skilled graduates to fill the job market. Pendidikan tinggi hari ini jauh lebih kompleks, lebih rumit dan lebih mencabar. Maka kita memerlukan plan dan strategi yang lebih sophisticated, less tari dan contemporary. Paling penting, kita memerlukan plan dan strategi yang akan menterjemahkan aspirasi nasional. He also suggested a white paper on New Horizon for Science, Technology and Innovation, a strategy for Malaysia, to prepare the ministry to manage the various changes and technological booms that affect teaching and learning. Kertas putih ini bertujuan menilai secara khusus dan mendalam kesan dan strategi kita dalam menguruskan pelbagai current and future technological disruption terhadap pengajaran, pembelajaran dan tata kelola institusi kita. He said this in his speech during the ministry's New Year mandate on Monday. Meanwhile, Khalid also said that the government will not build new public universities until the country's fiscal position recovers and strengthens. We will suspend this for a while sehingga kedudukan fiskal negara pulih dan mengukuh. Sekalipun keutamaan, keutamaan akan diberikan kepada pembangunan prasarana digital, keperluan memulih menyelenggara dan menaik taraf bangunan serta kemudahan sedia ada seperti fakulti, makmal, asrama dan perpustakaan sudah pastilah akan diberikan perhatian. He also wants the Ministry's Development Committee to be empowered and all failed and delayed projects must go through a proper and appropriate recovery and accountability process. The development of digital infrastructure will also be a priority for the next five years and the existing Ministry's digitization plan will be boosted in a transformative way. He added that it is time for the country's higher education sector to have a unit, such as the Performance Management and Delivery Unit or the National Interagency Economic Stimulus Implementation and Coordination Unit to ensure that all strategic plans are implemented and targets met, in addition to monitoring various new initiatives to be introduced.